How's it going, everybody? Rye Bread here today, and we're going to be continuing our Yankees GM mode as we are now in Season 2. Uh, so last season wasn't necessarily the season we were hoping for, uh, but I was reading your comments, and you guys said that this wasn't, you know, <clears throat> a team built to win now. Uh, I didn't think we were going to win now, and usually any uh, any team I rebuild or any team I, I am the GM of, it's usually year two or three. Most often it's three that we uh, really see, see uh, good success. I usually go like two average seasons at first and then year three we just take off because uh, that's usually when our prospects grow. Uh, if you remember in the last video we did the off season and got up here to uh, spring training. I'll simulate through spring training. We'll go ahead and see how uh, everyone did just to see who's doing what. All right. I missed out on Andrew McCutcheon for some reason. Uh, if you guys know the reason why, or you can go back in the last video and watch that part of the video. Uh, I don't know why I lost out on McCutcheon, but it's all right. I think uh, that means Aaron Judge now gets to uh, start in right field, although he's not actually starting in right field. It's Brett Gardner, and then in left field we have Conforto, and in center field we have Ellsbury. So I'm okay with having Aaron Judge on the bench. Uh, he's a, he'll be a really great bench player. He'll come in, but look at guys. We got lots of top 50 prospects. We got lots of players that are going to be the part of the future of this team. So. I think we're really set up uh, for success here in uh, New York. And you know what? I don't want to talk too much more about how we're looking and uh, what's going on here. This is just how we're, uh, the, t the players we have up here and whatnot. So let's go ahead and simulate through spring training. Uh, let's see here. Yep, it goes up through here. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll just have the computer auto-fix lineups. Uh, I don't know how to read the, uh, uh, what's it called, spring training record. And it looks like we're, yeah, we are five games under 500 in spring training, which is never good. But, you know, I'm not too worried because I think we'll do pretty well. So let's go ahead and check out our player stats here, uh, player statistics. Who did well for us? So Chris Carter hit a bunch of home runs for us. Uh, Greg Bird also had four. So Greg Bird is a uh, good power hitter. Then Conforto, a bunch of guys with three RBIs. As expected, the same three guys are up at the top. Starlin Castro actually led the league in something. I'm not too sure. Aaron Judge had a great average, although he only had 28 at-bats, so keep that in mind. These guys with low at-bats, they're just hitting well, so that's nice to see. An on-base percentage. Oh, yeah. Oh, Clint Frazier. Uh, do, I think we just, we might have drafted him, or he's been on, no, he's been on the team. Never mind. I don't, I forgot who we drafted last year, anyway. Maybe it was Ronnie Kagel here. Oh, well. Uh, Ronald Torres, yeah, no, he's not, the, who's that, oh, yeah, that's shortstop, what's his name, uh, shortstops, Glaber Torres, yeah, I thought he was gonna have a good jump, but not exactly, he's a decent hitter, though, not the worst in the world, so, Gregorius was cold, uh, but, you know, that's, that's fine, uh, let's go ahead and end spring training here, and we'll see who the computer sent down, and who I might have to call back up, um, so, yep, this looks good, except I might want another long reliever, uh, our, our, our pitchers are actually quite happy with everything. Uh, Tanaka is up to a 93, which is really awesome to see. He wants a compatriot, but I don't know if I can provide him that. So Otherwise, he's ecstatic, so that's awesome. Uh, same thing with Selman and everyone else in the rotation here. So Lots of potential here of growth, and I think Tanaka will be just hitting the... like He'll be in the middle of his prime by the time we're ready to contend, so he'll be our ace for a little while. Uh, as far as lineups are concerned... Oh, my God. Did they, oh, no, they kept Aaron Judge up here. Okay, perfect. They put Conforto at the DH. Um, you know what? No, I think I'd rather have Aaron Judge coming off the bench uh, this season and having Chris Carter be the DH just for that power. And then Conforto can go ahead and play right field for us. Uh, Judge then for Carter, and then we'll move him up. Here we go. Oh, yeah, our uh, signing, Trevor Plouffe. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, keep Greg Bird in the four spot. Um, Jacoby Ellsbury leading off, perfect, followed by Brett Gardner, and then Gary Sanchez against right-handed. Yeah, against righties, he's definitely a guy I want third. Greg Bird, Chris Carter, Starlin Castro, uh, Michael Conforto, yep, and yeah, that looks actually good to me. So no DH, uh, Chris Carter and uh, Judge are on the bench. You know what, I almost want to send one of these guys down, like a guy like Romine, but we do need a backup catcher, so you know what, he's a good... He's a good uh, fielder, so we'll leave him there. And as far as Gary Sanchez against lefties, uh, do we have anybody better against lefties? Uh, Plouffe's all right against lefties. All right, Judge is actually a little bit better than Plouffe against lefties. Um, I just want to find a good guy for that second. I think a guy like uh, Aaron Judge might actually benefit from batting third because 54-68, uh, he's 63-68. So you know what, Gary Sanchez... Go ahead and bat there. His overall is dropping, actually, so that's never what you want to see. Oh, and they have Glaber Torres here in the DH. No, we'll go ahead. Oh, well, this is against lefties. Uh, Conforto against lefties isn't the greatest. No. 
He's all right, but you know what? No, I want Conforto, uh, and then we'll make Chris Carter, but I don't want him playing first, so who else can play first? Nobody else can play first, so you know what? Yeah, we'll make Conforto the DH because that's about all we can have because I want him to be playing. He can go above Gregorius here, but yeah, that's, I think, so there you go, guys. There is what our um, rotation is looking like. Aaron, uh, Aaron Judge over Conforto against lefties. Yeah, batting-wise, that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and leave that, boys. All right, so there's our um, our lineups and our pitching rotation. Uh, looks good to me. Uh, I don't think anybody's in the AAA that I wanted up here. Uh, yeah, no, no, none of these guys really look like... Oh, Justice Sheffield. Justice Sheffield. I I screw that name up every time. You know what? You know what? Oh, wow, Tom Green. I, did we just draft this guy? I, or maybe we traded for him. I don't know. I can't remember who got... Well, you know what? Uh, this is actually a cool part of this game. Transactions, roster history. And there we go. We'll uh, go see who we drafted here last season. Oh, I could, damn it. I should have just gone up. Uh, draft is there. Is that guy? Phil Mortero. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. He's in the AAA. Diego Ibarra. Yep, he's in the AAA there. Ron Ronnie Cagle we drafted in the first round. So, yeah, we had a pretty good uh, year as far as drafting is concerned. Um, AAA free agent. Yeah, we did well there. Tom, oh, that's right. We signed Tom. Gr oh my God, he's got stamina. He's going deep in games. But yeah, that's right. We signed him as a free agent. That's that's really that's a that's that's a cool uh, feature that I could just go ahead and check that out. All right. So in this video, I think we might. I don't know if we're going to get up to the All Star game, but I think we can get the draft in because I think the draft is somewhere. Uh, it's usually in this area this week. So we'll go ahead and simulate the first two months of the season, and then we'll go ahead and do the draft. And that's where I'm going to leave this video off, boys. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's see if we can, ooh, starting off the season with, uh, wow, four straight series against our division. So, hopefully we can win two of these series, but, and we start out with a 3-0 loss, so the bats didn't come alive, but they do have Chris Sale in Boston. So, David Price, and we get a 2-0 win with Michael Pineda. There we go. That's very nice to see. Uh, so, bats uh, aren't coming alive very uh, much, but we do have the pitching now, apparently, to, uh, wow, Michael Pineda pitched... Uh, seven strikeout, nine innings. Only gave up four hits. He pitched a complete game. Wow. Solid, solid outing for Pineda. All right, Trevor Bauer, the guy we acquired for CC Sabathia last year in his first start on uh, his second season as a New York Yankee. And he doesn't get the loss. Tommy Lane does out of the bullpen. So we do drop the series against Boston. We are now one and two. But a four-game series against Tampa Bay here. This is pretty important. Tampa Bay's 0-2. And, and we lose to them. Tony Sipp out of the bullpen gets, an, gets the loss. But uh, there we go. Tommy Lane uh, makes up for his errors and goes ahead and gets that win, two to one. So we're, we're do we are playing quite a few close games. Uh, bats aren't really hot right now, but I'm not going to say they're cold either. It's too early to judge. Oh, there we go. See, that's the kind of pitching I like. Except for these two games, uh, we've had relatively good pitching. We've got two shutout performances in the first week of baseball, so I'll take it. I'll definitely take that. I've always been a uh, proponent of building your team around pitching first. Uh, because if your team gets two runs and your pitch, pitching only allows one, well, you're going to win almost every time if your pitching allows two to uh, two to one. Uh, no, no more than two runs per game. I definitely think you're going to win most of those games. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and finish off the series. Can we take the series? And no, we dropped the final game, but we don't we don't lose the series, but we don't win the series either. So that's a little bit unfortunate. And scouting, boys, I forgot about scouting. Here we go. What do we need to find? This guy's very good at discovery. Um, so we have outfield prospects. We have infield prospects. Uh, we, you know what? Let's go ahead and find catchers from the eastern region that can hit. Perfect. And then you'll go ahead and scout this pitcher from the east because he's look. He looks pretty good. Uh, let me go ahead. Actually, oops, I hit next game. Uh, let's let me go ahead and actually turn on notifications for not league transactions, but uh, roster related. There we go. That's scouting. Uh, business related. No, is fine. Uh, league transactions is just when anyone else calls us somebody up. Uh, there we go. Yep. And, oh, wait, minor league updates. That's We want those two so we, I can see at the end of the month who does what. All right, boys. Sorry if this video's gotten off to a little bit of a slow start, but hopefully we can pick it up here. And we lose 6-2 to two to Boston. And it's now time to scout again. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on scouting quite a bit. Ooh, this guy, uh, he's from the eastern region, so we'll send him out to scout this guy. Uh, uh, Bevis or Beavis or whatever his name was. Weird. Both of our series against Boston, we've had a break after day number one. 
Let's see if Severino can get a win. Last time he had a 5.40 ERA after pitching five innings. He's going up against Rick Porcello. Can we get the win? And we do a 3-0 shutout win for Severino. I think he went six innings in that one. Gave up a decent amount of hits, uh, six hits, but in six innings, six hits is not bad at all. He only gave up eight base runners uh, as far as walks and hits were concerned. Oh, what what is... Uh... Ah, the draft. There we go. The draft will be held on 6-7. So, we're going to be going up until June 7th in this video, guys. So we'll get a good chunk of the season done, and you guys can let me know if I'm screwing something up or if I'm not doing something right. All right, Selman. Oh, we get... Uh, this is a close one. I hate to lose those close ones, all right? I uh, need another scout. He's good at scouting positional players. Let's go ahead and scout this shortstop here who's looking mighty fine. Baltimore. The first time we face Baltimore this season, they are 3-6. and six, So, not what I expected from Baltimore, but Tanaka getting these close wins, these low-scoring wins. He... He only gave up three runs here, maybe not even, but man, is he pitching well to start the season. Pineda, too. Michael Pineda is pitching. Wow. I just jinxed him. I literally just said he was pitching well, and then he just just uh, gave up, I think, maybe seven runs. I'm not too sure. So this guy scouts pitchers. Um, let's not scout a relief pitcher. Let's scout this starting pitcher from the central region. Why not? There we go. Uh, Baltimore, come on. It's a four-game series, actually. We go ahead and take it. We're now up three to two in the series. Are we going to be able to take the final game, Severino? And we do. We win five to four, and Severino actually gets the win. I like to see when our I like to see our starters go ahead and get wins. Let's go ahead and get this series against Cleveland out of the way. Thirteen to three, boys. So that the bats came alive in that game. Woo! Hell yeah, that's what I like to see. Maybe they're uh, finally going to get their bats going. Uh, starting pitcher, starting. You know what? Let's go ahead and just scout a relief pitcher. Why not? Uh, and this guy's good at scouting positional players. So let's go with this third baseman from the central region. And then Calendar. There we go. Another game against Cleveland, who's 11-3. and three, So we only handed them their third loss in that game. Who did what for us? Let's see. Uh, Jacoby Ellsbury went 4 of 6. Bird went 3 of 6. Sanchez went 3 of 2. Uh, Gregorius went 2 of uh, 5. And Torres actually went 2 of 4. So good for him. RBIs, Ellsbury, Bird, Sanchez, Judge, Torres all had. And then uh, home runs were Ellsbury and Sanchez. So awesome. Good to see the bats come alive in that game against a really solid team. Can we keep it going? Can we keep, take game number two? And oh, okay, that's a double A. Oh, and they come back and smack us. Damn! After thirteen to three, we lose one to ten. That's rough. Come on, Pineda, pitch a gem for us. And nope, we lose four to six. That's all right. Cleveland is absolutely. They're coming out of the gates real hot. Thirteen and three. Jesus, freaking a. God, they're good. I want to build a team like that, boys. All right, let's go, Texas. And we win three to two. Chad Green in the triple A. All right, double A. All right, that's fine. Trevor Bauer gets the close win there. So ERA is up there to start the season, but, you know, a win is all I'm asking for. Severino, keep it going. Ooh, and hey, look, boys, we're getting the trade offer. So they, they're they going to give us a catcher in Josh Pinto for Acevedo. Oh, uh, where is he? He's a relief pitcher. No, I don't, I don't like that trade at all because this guy's young, so he could be like a 79 or something like that, and he's not going to grow much. So, you know, we're going to decline this trade from the Giants. Finish out the series against Texas with a loss. <coughs> oh, man, we got wrecked. We only put up two runs against them both times. Selman uh, and uh, Severino gave up six and nine runs. Well, I don't know if they gave them up themselves, but, you know, in that game. All right, scouting. I got to pay more attention to scouting. This guy's really good at discovery, so we'll send him back out there to find pitchers from... <clears throat> the eastern region some lefties sorry boys uh, i'm coughing a little bit my throat's a little bit dry oh scout pitchers uh lucas pool there we go and then this guy scouts positional players so we'll go ahead and scout this uh this actually this left fielder looks pretty good uh let's go ahead and keep going let's see if we can finish out the month strong beat toronto here oh we lose three to four but tansis gets the loss pineda gets a loss and then bauer gets another loss so something's going on now boys i think <clears throat> we're showing our true colors here, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and scout this relief pitcher. Why not? Um, yeah, let's go ahead here and keep going. Yes, there we go. We finally got back on the horse by beating Tampa Bay. Scouting. Yep, he's finished scouting that left fielder. So another positional player. We'll go ahead with this international shortstop, Carlos Garcia. Calendar. Another game against Tampa Bay. Selman takes the loss. But that's Batantis again. <coughs> oh god i'm sorry sorry guys i feel bad about coughing when i'm uh doing a recording <laughs> uh let's uh, tommy lane is actually only a 71 do we have anybody better 
No, we don't. Is there anybody better, like a free agent or something that I could go sign? Like, because Tommy Lane is not looking good whatsoever. Let's go ahead here and uh, transactions. Uh, is there, where, where do I find free agents? Am I missing it? Am I just being stupid? Uh, acquisition. Oh my God, it's up there. It's up there every time. I'm such an idiot, boys. Uh, relief pitchers. Oh my God, there are no good relief pitchers available. There's some starting pitch <coughs> pitchers still available, but actually, Willie P Peralta could be uh, somebody decent. He's not on a team right now. You know what? Let's go ahead and sign him, and we'll throw him in the bullpen as a middle of reliever and see if he grows. Because you know, I, I always like uh, putting uh, starting pitchers in the bullpen to see just just see how they do. He wants five. You know, we'll give him two years at what he wants. So, yep. All right, perfect. He's now hitting the field for us, and we got we got another pitcher. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Graham Goslin. There we go. And then uh, lineups. We need to send somebody down. That's what we need to do. Because there is a uh, Willie Peralta. He's yeah, he's happy. Good. So he's a seventy-three overall, but B potential. So we'll see how that one goes. And then we'll, uh, you know what, do we want to send a batter down or do we want to send down Tommy Lane and then put a guy like Ryan Dull back in the middle reliever spot? I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, did I switch him with Corey Gear? That's not what I meant to do. There we go, Tommy Lane. And then we'll go ahead and send relief pitcher Tommy Lane down to the AAA. Yep, perfect. Um, wait, do we have somebody in the AA who's actually, it should be in the, you know what, let's move him up to the AAA. And then take one of these guys and move them down to the double A. There we go. So just like to see that we have, oh, and now our double A has too many players. So double A roster and we'll take, um, you know what, somebody who's not got, who's not good. Um, oh, we got lots of starting pitchers. Uh, let's go back to relief pitchers. Sorry, boys. Uh, bear with me here. Uh, this guy, yeah, you're not going to be much. Move to class A. There we go. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. You can go back to the, up to double-A. AA. Our triple-A has too many players, so I got to move a, somebody from triple-A. Wow, that was just stupid. Uh, let's go with Nick, this guy. Move to double-A. Perfect. And now we're all set. We can keep on simulating. Uh, Yankees. Oh, wait. We had still have four. Oh, we have 41 players on our 41-man roster. 40-man roster. Uh, anybody? Yeah, this guy can come off. Remove from 40-man roster. Perfect. And there we go. We're all set. All the roster moves are set. Oh, God. And then we Tanaka takes a 1-3 to three loss. Come on, Bats, wake up. And 6-7. They woke up, but we got... Oh, that's frustrating. All right, some updates. Colton Brewer, fine, fine. Clint Frazier, all right. Uh, Bryant but Byler, okay. I'm just looking at these guys to see if somebody should be sent down. Davies doesn't look like he's doing well. Is he a starting pitcher? Oh, oh wow. He's like... At as low as you can get so you know what let's go ahead and move him to class a just to see if he'll grow there was also some center fielders that they said did well for us clint frazier i don't think did all that well uh yeah he's only batting 264 diego ibarra is not doing hot either so maybe he's uh, in a bit above his head but we'll give him another month and look at that guys our starting rotation is cold so perfect well, you know what? let's move severino up just make sure that oh um you know what no that's fine he can start tonight <coughs> against the braves so we're doing two games on the road against the Braves, then two games at home. We lost the first one on the road. Can we take the second one? And we don't. We lose it four to five, and Severino takes the loss. Um, waiver period. I, I don't get the waiver period in this game, boys. All right, but let's keep it going. Atlanta, there we go. Peralta gets us a five to two win. And now it's time to scout again. Uh, this guy, positional players. Let's go with uh, this David Wells from the Eastern region. Keep going. Keep the simulation going. It's hot right now. Three to one win. All right. Let's, let's, uh, God, I want them all on the same timeline, but I don't want to miss any days scouting. Uh, let's go ahead and just scout these relief pitchers. I don't know if I want to scout a closer because <clears throat> it's pretty easy to find a closer in this game. Uh, okay. That's double A. Oh, come on. Tanako started off so hot and then lost his last two starts. <coughs> pitchers. Scout the closing pitcher. Why not? Tampa Bay, Pineda, and there we go. We get an 8-5 win. Ryan Dull comes out of the bullpen and gets the win. Severino, can he bounce back? Ooh, the Orioles traded for Dallas Keuchel for Gaussman and Cisco. Wow. Oh, shit. That's in our division, too. That's going to make it a lot tougher for us, boys. All right, all right. It's okay. We can overcome it. We'll be fine. Oh, Corey Gearin, strain is oblique. Uh, he's, he's a pitcher, right? Uh, Corey Gearin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a relief pitcher. There we go. 
All right, so he's going to be hurt, but he's not going to... Maybe they just won't start him. All right, and we take a... F oh, that was a close loss, too. Damn it. And we lost the series. All right, Trevor Bauer. And we got... Oh, my God. We got smacked in that game. <coughs> I think it's start, start uh, time to start trading away some veterans, boys. Put them on the trade block. Uh, because it doesn't look like this season's going all that well for us. Not so far, anyway. Let's keep it going, though. Maybe we can turn it around this month. We are eight games under five hundred. Uh, is there's, oh my god, freaking hell, boys. This is just pissing me off. I just want to win at this point. Uh, is there something wrong in the lineups? Gary Sanchez is not hitting well, so you know what? This is against right-handed hitters. Uh, let's move Greg Bird up and Chris Carter into the fourth spot. Let's see if that'll help us at all. Keep it going. Ploof is hot. So that's nice to see. Maybe I should move him up in the rotation, or in the lineup just a little bit. Uh, over Starlin Castro. Perfect. Uh, and then against, you know what, we'll leave him there. Oh, gotta go lefties. Lefties. Oh, Aaron Judge is batting there, and then Chris Carter batting there. Gary Sanchez against lefties isn't the greatest, but neither is what's-his-face. Oh, yeah, Greg, wait, we, we're benching Greg Bird for Chris Carter? Why on earth would we ever do that? I know he's not the greatest against lefties, but, uh, power versus lefties. Aaron Judge has got the best power versus lefties, and we'll put, um, Ploof in that, uh, three spot. There we go, there we go. Hopefully that'll, uh, spark the team a little bit. And a 5-1 to one win. Hell yeah. That's what I like to see. Asahiro Tanaka gets another win. His ERA is great. Uh, it's just He's just been getting snake bit. Uh, the bats don't uh, necessarily line up with when he's starting. In the final game against Detroit, we only put up one freaking run. Come on! Oh, God. I know, it's, I, know I said that I'm okay with uh, not winning right away, but it just sucks to see us keep losing this many games. Severino, 1-6. to six. Ah, 3-4. Dylan Batances. Four, five. All right, all right. Uh, Brett Nicholas, catcher. Uh, no, he's not anything. And then left fielder. No, why would I trade you a prospect? No, that's just dumb. The computer's offering me. S oh my god. <coughs> hey, a one nothing win. What a surprise. Oh my god, I, I forgot to scout because I was pissed. Pitchers, relief pitcher here. Go. Uh, this guy is really good at discovery, so we'll keep. We'll keep him going out. Uh, we'll go ahead and scout some infielders now from the Eastern region. Uh, he's already scouting a closing pitcher, and this guy scouts positional players. All right. His third baseman for us. All uh, right. Uh, transactions completed. Bang. That's fine. I don't care about who all, who all got called up. And there we go, boys. We actually took the series against the Chicago White Sox. Great to see. Uh, this guy scouts pitchers. Uh, pitchers. Any pitchers anywhere? Closing pitchers. A starting pitcher anywhere? Aha. There we go. From the Western region. And he'll scout him faster because he's from his native region, too. Big series against Boston. Go ahead and take the first game. Thank you, Trevor Bauer. We lose the second game by Selman. And Tanaka loses a close one. Actually, whoa, Batances. <coughs> what the hell? All right, I might have to figure out what the hell's going wrong with Batances. Find another positional player for this guy to scout. Perfect. Uh, transaction's fine. You know what? Let's move him into the middle relieving role and, and uh, move a guy like... Uh, Corey Gearin is actually uh, doing really well here. Uh, really, really good. So we'll leave him there. Sip, okay, and then Dull. Uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and move Sip down there. So we have uh, two setup man, a righty, and a lefty. And then Peralta, how is he doing for us? Yeah, he's doing really well. 1.11 whip, so perfect. Houston, 5-0 win, and Pineda gets it. Hell yeah, boys. Did he pitch a complete game? or Because he's done that before. Yeah, he pitched another complete game for us. So that's, that's really awesome to see. Nine innings pitched, only four hits. <coughs> Five base runners that entire game. All right, Severino. Oh, we lose 3 nothing. Damn it. I just, I hate getting shut out. It's just so frustrating because I don't know if I'm doing something wrong as far as lineups are concerned. Oh, this guy scouts pitchers. Let's go ahead and scout this. Uh, uh, that's an old, relatively older scouting. Er, here we go. Let's go scout this guy. And this guy scouts, oh, he discovers. Um, let's go uh, this time. Left-handed pitchers who are who have got uh, command from the Eastern Region again. Oh, uh, okay. Then movement. Oh wait, all pitchers. Uh, let's go then. International left-handed who have command. Perfect. Uh, interesting. I've scouted all the pitchers, and oh, we lose. Houston is Houston's in our position too, and we just got swept by them. So I hate to see us lose to these teams that are in the same boat as we are. Uh, let's see. Relief pitcher. There we go. 
Uh, I hate to see, like, like look at this. They're 20 and 30. We're 18 and 32. So had we not swept this series, we would have had a better record than they did. And another poor team in Kansas City. This time we go ahead and take a 5 to 1 win. Keep scouting because I want to I wanna focus on the draft because that's you got to build through the draft when you're uh, like us, positional players. All right, we'll go ahead and scout this central fielder from the eastern region, Kansas City. We take a 4-2 to two win, so Tanaka and Pineda get back-to-back -back wins. Can Severino close it out for us? And he cannot. Uh, Corey Gearing actually gets the loss. Uh, oh, yeah, that's just telling me that the draft is soon. So against Seattle here, who's uh, 15 games above 500? It's going to be it. Oh, and look at that, guys. We take the first game of the series 5-2. to two. Selman, oh, we lose the second game two to seven. So that's not looking like the greatest trade in the world, guys. <laughs> not looking too hot for Selman. Pitchers, closing pitcher from the international reason, fine. Uh, there we go. Um, here we go, Seattle. And we lost uh, three to five. Uh, Tanaka gets another loss. Oop, scouting and uh, reports. So uh, Camarena, uh, Heller, Torres had an outstanding month. Okay. Brian Byler. Lale. Okay, so what were some of the guys? Uh, Tommy Green is still tearing it up, apparently. He's hot down there in the uh, in the minors. Yeah, look at that, boys. One point. Eh, actually, he's not the, he's not, doesn't have the greatest stats. These guys don't necessarily have the greatest stats. Uh, but it was shortstop uh, Ronald Torres, or Glaber Torres, right? Or Ronald, oh, wow, we have Glaber Torres and Ronald Torres. Uh, so what does he do? He's growing, so he, he does want to be up here in the majors. So that's nice to see. Brett Gardner, Michael Conforto is dropping. He is dropping like a freaking stone, guys. He's only batting 203. Jeez, you know what? I might have to bench him for a little while uh, and put in Aaron Judge over him just so I can get Conforto out of there. Conforto for Judge. There we go. And then Conforto for Judge again. Uh, just because I can't, I can't stand to see these guys not do well. And then this is against left-handed uh, Glaber Torres. Is actually doing pretty well this season. Actually, no, he's the, he's the best guy on the bench. So you know what? Let's just move Conforto to the bench and see how he fares there. All right, and there he is. He's now on the bench. He's not happy about it, but you know, I want I want him to do better and grow. So I don't I don't want to ruin him. Uh, positional players. Do we have any positional players to scout for you? Yep, we got a couple first basemen from the Eastern Region. Let's go ahead, keep going. Against Oakland, we lose one to four. We lose one to two. And then we win 8-3, to three. so the bats finally came alive against Jesse Hahn. But Sean Manea and Sonny Gray shut us down. All right, time to scout again. <clears throat> this guy scouts pitchers. Uh, there was some start... Yeah, there was, I thought there were some starting pitchers that I wanted to go ahead and take a look at. Actually, you know what? Scout this guy, because he's, he's supposed to be ready sooner, and he, he looks better right now. The draft is coming up, boys, so... Uh, yeah, oh, I got one notification. What is it? Um, the, uh, roster related. And draft is approaching. Yep. So we are, oh, shoot, I don't want to back out. We are two games away, two days away from the draft. Let's go ahead and simulate and see if we can get a couple wins before the draft. Never mind. It's not going to happen. Uh, pitchers. All right. Let's go ahead and scout this guy. And then you scout positional players. So you go ahead. Is, am I missing somebody up at the top? No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and find another positional player for him to scout. Uh, left fielder from the Western region. There we go. And then one more day, and then the draft is upon us. And we lose 7 nothing. and now it's the draft. So now we're picking 7th, which is not an improvement over last year. We picked 10th last year. Uh, so let's see, what do we have here that we can uh, go ahead and... Ooh, we got a good second baseman, although what do we... Oh, shit, that's not what I want to do. What do we have? Is there a... Can we view the roster? Is that not an option? So we're balanced at second base. What do we need, though, is the question. We don't really need a right fielder because uh, we have, there's a, there's a starting pitcher, there's a left fielder who's going to be pretty good. Uh, let's keep looking here. What about 80s? Yep, uh, there's a starting pitcher that looks to be okay. Lucas Poole, a third baseman there, and that's about it. I like these guys at the top, though, because they have the, uh, they got a decent overall. So a 65 overall is pretty good, and there's a 65, but he's a closing pitcher, so I don't read too much into that because it's easier for closing pitchers to be good now so this guy's actually supposed to be ready by 2019 uh, as a left fielder and so is this second baseman so you know what we I, I might want to go with that second baseman there and then this guy is a relief pitcher this guy starting pitcher uh this guy starting pitcher starting pitcher yeah you know what? let's go ahead and go with the uh the guy at the top of the board here the second baseman russell covey uh yeah he looks oh wow he looks to be a good contact hitter so with good vision. So you know what? Let's go ahead and take him and see how it goes for us. 
seemingly to our next pick. Going all the way down here, and there we go. We get another shot at it. Pick player accuracy. Uh, do we have anybody left who's an 80 potential? No, we don't, unfortunately, so we got to kind of pick uh, with our gut. I do kind of like this Richard Tan guy, but he's not finished scouting, so the accuracy is, it's all right, but I'd like to see a little bit more. <clears throat> uh, low injury risk, though, so Richard Tan. Uh, you know what? I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I want to, you know what? Let's take a shot at him. Screw it. Oh, no, 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 no. I almost picked the wrong player. Uh, he's listed as a 75. We only have, sc have him scouted just a little bit. Um, New York Yankees pick player, uh, accuracy, and nope, we don't really have anybody else, so we'll go ahead and take some shots in the dark here. Um, we'll go ahead, we can, you know, we can take one of these guys maybe, low injury risk. Uh, this guy looks fine, I know I haven't scouted him very much, but, you know, it's a third round pick. Hopefully we get lucky with some of these guesses, and, you know, now might be a time to take some of the, uh, you know, we still have time. Let's go ahead and take, um... This central fielder from international, he's 21, or 22, so yeah, he's pretty fast too, so he'll, oh wait, usually faster players aren't good at much else besides speed, hopefully that's wrong in this case, but you know, I've noticed that a lot. Okay, so all the guys we've scouted are gone, let's go ahead and keep scoring, sorting by potential, and this guy, you know what, he's a new prospect, let's just go ahead and throw him on there, throw, welcome to the team, bud, and round six, here we go, pick another player, um, I'm just guessing at this point, guys. I really have no clue who I want to go get. 18-year-old from the Eastern Regions. Catcher. Why not? And then one more guy here. Bang. Pick player. And uh, nobody is left. Uh, you know what? This guy is supposed to be ready sooner. So you know what? Let's go ahead and take him. That doesn't necessarily mean he's got great potential. But uh, that just means he'll be ready sooner. Um, so, so far up, up, up at the draft, we are at the bottom of our division. We are... 17 games under 500. Uh, apparently we have no contact, but our power and pitching's up there. Uh, and as far as the wild card, we are the worst team. Wow. We are the second worst team in baseball and the worst team in the American League. So we got some work to do, boys. Let's go ahead and check out how we drafted, though. And whoo, look at this, guys. 94 overall. Okay, the rest of the picks weren't that great. But we got a 94 overall potential second baseman. Uh, who who's looks to be pretty darn good already. I mean, his contact is up there, his vision. You know, that's pretty nice to see. So let's go ahead and, yeah, let's definitely sign him. Uh, yep. Sign the, I'll just go ahead and sign everybody. It wasn't fantastic, but definitely a lot of players that might fill a role. And look at this guy. This catcher's actually got a 78 overall. So you know what? I'm okay with it. I mean, see potential. What are you going to do? And there it is, boys. So we have gone ahead and gotten up to the draft. Uh, we got a mo another month to be, you know what, uh, nah, I'm going to, I'm going to stop here because I want to know what you guys have to say about what I should do to this team. What, what do I need? I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys, uh, the lineup right now. Conforto is now hot, but he's still, he is dropping like a freaking stone guys. I don't like to see his overall be so low. Uh, he was like an 80 last year for us. And then, but Aaron judge is hot. So his overall is going up too. look at that power versus lefties on the rise. So he's batting really well against lefties, but apparently not as well against righties. So here's the lineups, guys, against lefties now. You can see that. Uh, here's the bench. Uh, as far as the pitching rotation, here's the pitching rotation, boys. Uh, let me know what I should do because apparently I'm not doing the right thing for us. Uh, hopefully we can get the season turned around a little bit and climb back closer to 500 so that our GM rating doesn't plummet. Uh, I just want to finish better than last season, so more than 74 wins would be fine with me. Alright, so that's where I'm going to leave this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.